customers, retail outlet HennyTag has been seeing a major reduction in apparel sales, in particular women's apparel. We have been tasked with presenting a rebranding effort in order to boost interest. You mean all the women's apparel? Uh, most of them, but trousers are taking a financial hit, specifically women's trousers. Uh, we already marketed a new line only six months ago. Yes, she's right. Uh, Schaefer Apparel. We gave them a brand against a brand name, clothing model Caroline Schaefer. Uh, Ex-clothing model. The woman hasn't modeled in 20 years. Well, she still has name recognition. Yeah, well, they saw us putting a cute tag on a pair of rags. They want better. They're jumping the gun. You need 12 months to gain momentum on the line. Well, they're not going to wait. And, uh, Tom already got the email. Oh, shit. And he knows we're in here. Did you notify him? He wanted to know where we were. He pinged me on the online chat. Next time, just lie. Give us time to prepare before he shows up. We can't lie to the boss. We don't have anything to deliver. And that's what we'll tell him. Uh, yeah, you <laughs> tell him that. No. Tom! One of our largest accounts, and we can't get pants right. How complex is pants? Um, we believe Honey Tag hasn't given the product enough time to produce results. How much time? Um, 12 months. A year! This company has never needed a year in order to get a score. This is a much bigger client. Who are you? I'm Jasper, sir. I was hired for brand testing. Is that a Shasta? It's a Fresca. Mm -hmm. And did you test that for awfulness? Okay, let's, um, refocus here. Um, how are we gonna handle this? When I was appointed this role from my late father... Your father isn't dead, Tom. He's retired. He Ugh. was late to get me in on this business, probably the reason why you're having problems now. It's it's just a complaint that we need to smooth over with the clients. So who's putting on these pants? They're for working women. And where are they working? Um, <laughs> what does that matter? What does that matter? Details matter! Do you know where this company started? Diverse. Diverse. That's right. Well, we know, Tom. Did you know when this company was first formed, there were no cloth diapers. Everybody called them shit blankets. <laughs> <laughs> but you can't sell shit blankets. No family was ever comfortable going into a store to ask the manager where the shit blankets are. So these companies came running, running to our firm, and we came up with something they could work with. Trash pants. Is that true? <laughs> Sadly, it is. It never worked out, though. There was a blockbuster campaign. The manufacturers are close to buying, but then out of nowhere... Nowhere being France. Some other firm makes up some foreign language nonsense and calls them diapers like that would ever fly. It's flown around the world. It should have been trash pants. Well, <laughs> that's what Henny Tag presently thinks of our product. Maybe we just need to brand them differently. People who shop at Hattie Tech are just everyday retail shoppers. Maybe we just need to go with something more generic. No. Women don't want generic clothes for the workplace. We want attire that makes our presence known amongst our peers. Okay, here's what you're going to do. We're going to make sure people get noticed. We're going to brand those pants. They already have a brand, sir. I'm not referring to the square piece of cardboard dangling by a string. We're going to recommend that they print Missy right on their butt. <sighs> I'm not sure about that. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like we're the only ones doing it. There's a words on butts trend going on right now, and this company shouldn't be turning a blind eye to it. That would be the meaning, Tom? Their work pants? That trend also has been dissipated for a while. Dissipating? Yes, sir. Have you been to a mall recently? Not recently, sir. Well, I was there last week, and I realized two things. One, there's always somebody painting their grade B orange chicken, and two, some lady is walking around with her favorite color on her ass. That has nothing to do with attire for the workplace, Tom. Um, Tom, maybe it would be best if we take a bolder approach. Um, starting a trend and not just jumping on an existing one. Maybe it would be best? I'll tell you what's best. Do you know what this company did in the midst of our first recession? Headbands. That's right. Every company in a panic. Profits in the toilet. 
people getting laid off left and right, and the CEO of sporting equipment supplier Smash Mouth Sports is desperate to stop their company from being sucked into financial smithereens. And Tom, if I could interject for just a moment. No, please. no, no, no. People have to know. People have to know what to do when that dark and brooding precipice of failure shows itself. And the bloody specter of misery is right there to push you into the abyss of despair. Hey, Tom, our time is limited here. Can we get to the matter at hand? So they come to us with this soft elastic cloth they wrap around their heads. But nobody knows what it's for until we help them out and call them brow smackers. Oh, never seen a CEO smile so fast. And then he changed them to headbands. That dickhead knew we couldn't change our campaign in mid-flight. And it was against our contractual agreement. We acted quickly and we sued him for a million, saving our company. What about his company? They made a hundred million in headbands. But we were the catalyst for that. So don't tell me I don't know what's next. Okay, Tom. We appreciate the history lesson. Uh, but what are we going to do about this? And like I said, we're branding those pants. We're not but branding those pants. Fine! Thank you. We'll put it down both legs. No! <laughs> Name one company who's doing that. You know, maybe men will be staring from behind. They'll just do it from the front. It'll be less creepy. Um, I, so I would prefer no creepy. Okay. <laughs> How about we put big and head on the side of man's khakis, and then we sell them as a pair! <laughs> Can we do that? No! no! <laughs> what? I have an idea. Let's keep them the way they are. Oh, oh we're starting all over again. No, no, listen! We shift the focus to women's shoes. I'm not getting it. <laughs> Department store shoe sales have always been stronger than pants sales. We campaigned a new brand of women's shoes, and we give a pair of pants away for free for every shoe sale. In time, the pants get exposure in the real world. Women see other women wearing them, and in three to six months, the pants are so notable, they just sell themselves off. What do you think? We could advertise them as a matching pair. Call it a hot match special. It'd be a unique buy one get one. Great! Everyone loves free pants, and it'll make us look awesome. Glad I could make it happen. <laughs> well, I'm leaving to get some cans of spicy chili and hemorrhoidal cream <laughs> for my dad, who's not dead. <laughs> Thank you again, Tom. If this works out, people. I'll be talking about it for years. Keep me updated, Fresca. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh that was impressive, Jasper. <laughs> yes, good job. That was really creative. You know, you just might be a marketing genius in the making. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I'm really excited about the first step in this program. And which one is it? Have handy tags those shoes. <laughs> <laughs>